So the challenge mode for Axis is out, and as most people suspected, you need to get every single empowerment supercharge dunk during the Axis fight. Some of you might be asking what the hell this supercharge mechanic even is, since it's not vital to the encounter at all. So let's get into that with some more detail. I did cover this mechanic in my Axis guide, but I feel like a lot of people probably skipped over it or maybe just forgot since most people don't really utilize it because you don't need to. The supercharge mechanic is where you basically trade your empowerment for a super for your entire team. However, you only have a very small window of time to do this exchange during the fight, and that's during the time where Axis teleports to a new location during the damage phase. There are three plates that can be supercharged. They're the plates that the servitors float to that you need to kill. In between Axis teleports, one of these three will light up with red fire at random. If you have empowerment, you need to trade it on the lit up plate and in return you'll get a super for your entire team. So you need to position yourselves in a way where you're capable of not only stunning Axis, but also supercharging in case the supercharge is on your side. So how can you do this? Well, it's not really too complicated. Whenever Axis teleports to a side, left, either position in the middle or the right, the supercharge will not, or should not, appear on the same side that he teleports to. So if he teleports to the left, the supercharge will be in the middle or the right. If he goes to the middle, it'll be on the left or the right, etc. Positioning works as follows, it's pretty simple. If you're empowered, you stand near the yellow zone on this grid. It's in between the supercharge and the possible teleport location, and there's actually a yellow marking on the ground in the boss room next to the left and right pillars. If Axis teleports to your side, then you just handle the stun. That's the green path. If he doesn't, then you immediately turn around and look for your supercharged dunk. That's the red path. If the flames are there, you dunk it. If not, then you hope that the other player gets the supercharge. You repeat this process for every single teleport that he does, and if you get all of the supercharges and kill the boss, then you win. If you miss a supercharge, then congratulations, you get to do it again. So if he teleports left, the left side will stun him, the middle and the right side turn around and look for their supercharge. If he goes to the middle, then the middle stuns, and then the left and the right will turn around and look for their supercharge. The middle is obviously in charge of both the mid and back teleports. The loot works in a very similar way as Vasek does. The hard mode drops the emblem and the ornament, along with what appears to be another general loot drop. Yep. And I'm running positions, he's teleporting me. Yeah, wrong mess. Got the dunk. There we go. Nice, empowered mid. Where do I need to be? I'm, I'm left. left. I'm right, I'm right. Stay mid, Leon. We're gonna go mid back, <laughs> but not stand. Back mid, back mid, Leon. That was close. Alright, left. I'm right. Okay, it's literally not up to me now. 50 waves. We need mid. Okay, I'll be mid. No, no, wait, Leon's I'll mid. I'll be mid. Leon's mid. Ignore, ignore okay. that. No, I'm not, I'm not mid. Then... I'm not mid. Oh. Oh, left, left, left. Uh, waves. Slam mid. Got it. That was so close. Oh. And that's your Axis Challenge Mode. Some quick thoughts? Well, it's definitely harder than the Vosik Challenge and not as monotonous, although groups who did run the Supercharged Strat already shouldn't experience much difficulty. The main thing is that the mechanic doesn't punish you for being good at killing Axis. The longer you take, the more dunks you need to do, so it does actually reward you for going fast. It means you don't need to do more later in the encounter. Not to mention that supercharging every single time means that you get a ton of supers to burn on the boss, making you more efficient at doing the fight. Is it that much harder? Well, if you haven't been running the supercharged strat, then it might be at first, but if you have, then not really. This is probably one of the more difficult things that they could have done with the fight given how challenge modes are executed, so in that regard, I can give it a pass. The supercharge mechanic is something that can be basically completely ignored during the fight, and so to a lot of people, it is basically a whole new feature of the fight itself. 
Something like not being able to use the cannons to damage the boss would have maybe been challenging, but ultimately I think it would have just artificially elongated the fight, which wouldn't have been too exciting, much like Vosik is. But yeah, that's your Axis Challenge Mode guide. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.